Hi right, all, welcome back to the channel. I've been asked to do a, a video on feral crimps here. So we're going to do a comparison of feral crimp versus cable strands only in a screw terminal. As you can see here, the ferals, they are a cylinder that the cable is fed within. And all the cable strands are encapsulated within that cylinder when it's cramped down. Cables, the ferrules come in various sizes to suit the cable. And in this example, we are going to use chop block just for a visual reference. We don't use chop block in our conversions, but for this purpose and demonstration, we are using chop block with their screw down terminal connections. First of all, we take our cable, in this case, it's 1.5 millimeter square. We're going to strip back the insulation from the cable, revealing those strands within, using our wire stripping tool. Twist up those cable strands, ready to feed on the ferrule. Choose your ferrule to suit the application. In this case, we're using 1.5 millimeter square cable. So we want to choose the 1.5 millimeter square ferrule crimp to suit. We don't want to be trying to put a three millimeter square ferrule crimp onto a 1.5 millimeter cable. We want to be using the right ferrule crimp for the right cable. We can now feed over the ferrule crimp onto that cable. And as you can see, pushed up, it's left cable strands out the end of the ferrule. We like to keep the ferrule bedded down and not revealing any cable strands out the end. So we shall trim off a few millimeters of the cable strands there, twist and reapply our ferrule and that should see us with all the cables within the ferrule and none from the end. Now we're happy with that we can take our ferrule crimping tool, insert the ferrule with the cable squeeze down and reshape the ferrule crimp. So upon inspection we can see that the ferrule crimp has changed from a cylinder to a square shape of sorts with plenty of dints and debits and dents within that to be able to better strengthen the connection around the cables. We've also taken the other end of the 1.5 millimeter square cable here and we're going to strip this back. Twist up as we did before and we are going to test both within the chop block. As I said already, we don't use chop block in our conversions. This is just for a demonstration purpose. Feed in your cable and screw down on the terminal. Screw down tightly. If you feel the pull, you've probably not secured it enough you can then remove and we can inspect this cable so as we can see our twisted up cable 
has separated for when the screw has gone into it. We can also see the dent. And we can also see that the cables have attempted to separate. Potentially leaving a poor connection. Now we're going to put in the ferrule crimp. And tighten down onto that with the screw terminal from the chop block. Tighten down as before Test our connection It's good and strong We can now remove and inspect The screw has embedded itself there within the ferrule All the cables are still within the ferrule making for a much more secure and positive connection definitely recommended for any screw terminals within your camper conversions both 240 and 12 volt if there's a screw terminal to be used we certainly recommend ferrule crimping comparing the both together you can see the difference Hope this video has been of use. Thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe, hit the thumbs up so YouTube knows that this content is worthy of it and gets pushed out to more people. Safe electrics is key. We'll catch up with you soon for another video. Thank you very much for watching.